Hello YouTube, Omega here. Doing a video on 1.4 Minecraft vanilla server. Now vanilla means no plugins, but when Bucket comes out, I'll make sure I do a video for you guys on that one. Today is the 23rd, which is the date of this recording. The official release will come out on the 25th, which is Thursday of October. So, um, once the official release comes out, I'll update the links. But anyhow, what you need to do is look in the description and go to the link that you see there. And what you'll need to do is download the client and download the server from Mojang's website. I'll have a link in the description. Once you download those, what you'll need to do is make a new folder, call it whatever you want, just so you know what it is though, and put the Minecraft server, the file that you downloaded here, this one, put that into this folder here, and I'll have a start bat file for you guys to use. Um, this one is for, I think it was for four gigabytes. You'll need WinRAR, or not WinRAR, I'm sorry, Notepad to edit it um, and what you want to do is change this actually it's one gigabyte so you can change this this is how much RAM your your server will use so depending on how much your computer will have you know how much RAM your computer has you just change this number and then you save the changes and once you save changes go ahead and click the start server so it starts to generate all the there's like a bunch of errors and stuff um but it's just making the new world so that's pretty that's done you can minimize that for now so it made the new world and all that stuff um what you're going to want to do next is put your username in the op text file and once you do that then just go ahead and save changes and you can edit the server properties with Notepad. I use Notepad++, your choice. And you can change all these um, server settings to your liking. Um, now, if you're using Hamachi, you're going to have to put this Hamachi IP here, where it says server IP. If you're not using Hamachi, like if you want to connect using your IP, you'll have to leave this blank and then just once you're done editing that stuff in there just save changes and then we'll go to port forwarding so what you need to do is if you're on Windows 7 or Vista type in CMD you'll come up with this screen here if you're on XP go to start run and then type CMD and then you're going to want to type in IP config. You're going to press enter. And when you press enter, you're going to want to write down your default gateway and IPv4 address. Okay, so write it down. And once you have it written down, you can go ahead and exit out of that. And then what you're going to want to do is log into your router. So you're going to want to type in your IP. Actually, your default gateway type in your default gateway here just the numbers should be like 198.168 or something like that it should be four sets of numbers separated by periods and then press enter you'll have to log into your router um, you'll have to get permission from your parents to log in or I don't know maybe you know already how to log in but once you log in look for port forwarding port triggering, uh, virtual servers, something along that line. It might be under advanced uh, tab or something. It varies from router to router. But once you're in your um, the right area, just uh, put in the port for Minecraft, which is 25565. Put that port in uh, for both TCP and UDP. Make sure that the little check mark boxes are checked so it's active and then where it says IP address just put the 
the um, IPv4 address, but you're going to have to make sure it's for TCP and UDP. And then once you're done, you're going to have to save changes in your router, and your router will have to restart for the changes to take place. And then once you're done, you can go into your server, start Minecraft, log in. As you can see, it's 1.4.1 .1 right there. So just go into multiplayer and type in local host and then join your server. This is your server, yes. Now, you're going to need to find out what your IP is. So the best way to do that is go to Google and type in IP chicken. Okay, then just click on this link here and then it, you'll see some numbers. That's the IP you're going to want to give to people to join your server. That's how they're going to join. And that's basically it. You have a 1.4 server. Um, and like I said, when Bucket comes out, I'll make sure I do a video on that. And just want to take the time to let you guys know that we host servers, both Bucket, TechIt, and Vanilla. Um, so you can check that out at our website, gizmoservers.com. And please thumbs up the video, uh, favorite, like it, all that stuff. And I'll see you later. Bye.